What's wrong with that picture? Yeah, there's no ice. It's uh, that's a problem. Mid November and we got no ice. Like two weeks ago, we had um, I think it went to minus seven overnight or something like that, and then we had we came over here to our our little fancy dancy spot here, and uh, the pond or the the swamp kind of froze over like eighth of an inch ice, just enough to get your heart rate going. Um, but then two weeks straight at plus fifteen to plus twenty, like. It's mid-November and we're still getting 20 degrees out. So today we're gonna trap some minnows. Um, we'll show you how, how we do it. And um, it's not much to it. So we're only gonna have them in for a few hours because the spot that we have here is a honey hole. And if we keep it in for 24 hours, you're gonna be looking at two, 300 minnows and we don't need that much at all. That's entirely too many. So yeah, we're gonna throw the trap in right now. And then first things first, go get Murph. Or we'll come back here in a couple hours Here's on the one side. This is, oh, it's really weedy. Wow, is it ever weedy. So what we're gonna try and do here is throw that out yonder over away from the weeds. Now what we're using is bread. Generally you can use a bunch of different things like dog food works. <coughs> bread, it seems to be the best. I've used a bunch of different stuff, even granola bars, weirdly enough. I threw some like whole grain granola bars in there and even they actually, you can get minnows with them, but all in all, the best bait to use would be bread. Throw that out there. Oh, good throw, Ferg. Okay, let's try this again. Wow. Okay, good enough. It's gonna have to go right there, sink down into the weeds. So we'll just tie this wire on here. Just wrap it around something solid so it doesn't go anywhere. Shouldn't go anywhere anyway. All right, so the trap is in. Come back in a couple hours, I guess. Like we should, like I said, this is a dandy spot for minnows. Mud minnows specifically, that's the ones we want. We're gonna go get Murph, wait a couple hours, we'll come back and check it, and then we'll take you back to where we keep the minnows, and we'll show you the system we have rigged up. We got a whole system rigged up for minnows this year. We're on our way to check the trap now. It's been in for, I was in at like 10.30, and it's almost 1.30, so it's been in almost three hours. So. But right now I'm looking at the weather for Perth, and we're looking at Monday, tomorrow plus six minus two overnight like friday's plus 11 so like i think we're pretty well screwed for a bit it was minus five and minus seven all all week throughout the night and it's all actually warming up now it's minus one plus one plus three minus seven and minus eight still tuesday and wednesday so that's good that'll make some ice but it'll be all melted anyway so we're not going to be out ice fishing until probably december at least g'day g'day <laughs> Here we are, we're at our spot. Let's see what we're looking at here. A lot of weeds, holy mother. Oh yeah, Wait, there's something there. You got some tiny there. mud. Perfect. Perch and trout. There we go, that's what we're looking at here. Bunch of small. They're all small, yeah. They're not very big. Pull it out. Have a look at them. There we go, right there. That's what we want. Those are mud minnows. Those perfect, are the good ones. Perfect for perch, trout, little walleye sometimes too. Sometimes we use shiners for walleye, but these mud minnows seem to do the trick on little rivers and stuff like that, like Mississippi and stucco even sometimes too. Mud minnows. Yeah, perfect for little littler fish. And then we. Uh, usually get the shiners for the bigger ones obviously but those are perfect like murph said they're perfect for trout and stuff like that we're not keeping them today we're gonna let them all go just because we like we said we have too many already so we'll throw all these back let them go and we'll come back and get them another day there's a few up here around here really swampy here today jesus when you're setting up your traps like this you want to have your string or whatever but you want to set them kind of hide them a bit because there is sometimes, like we've had it before, people come by and either steal your trap or cut your line. So if there's a spot nearby, you can tie your rope off too. So we're using wire. Uh -huh. But yeah, tie it off somewhere more where people can't see it. You find a spot like this, or even little rivers work really well too, for mud minnows anyway. Um, swampy areas are where the mud minnows are at. But uh, yeah, we're going to run back and we'll show you the spot we have set up for the minnows. Back in my house. Alrighty, so here we are. This is where we keep the minnows. So if you look in here, so yeah, that's why we didn't keep any because we're pretty much set for the first trip of the winter already. Big guys exactly. like that. There's a nice mud minnow right there. Got a bunch of them. 
So we don't have it fully set up yet, but right here, this screws off. There's gonna be a pipe that comes out or a hose and it's gonna have a submersible pump inside and it's gonna come out into here. And as you can see right here, you got Scotch-Brite pads here. These filter any big stuff. You go down to the lava rocks. That'll take all the ammonia out of the water and it kind of just cleanses it. And then we have a hole drilled here with a shower drain in the bottom so that when the water pumps out of here, it'll go in, filter through that, and it just keeps going. Maybe a little water heater because we're kind of worrying about maybe deep in the winter that the water might freeze on us. But Yeah. Or even a heated light in the yeah. top section because this exactly. is all insulated here. Yeah. Well, not very well. It's an old cooler, but yeah. Get yeah. it heated and everything and then we're good to go. And then we have the bubbler just right here set up with a hole drilled into there, plugged into the outlet. So yeah, we will be on the ice as soon as the ice comes. As in two and a half weeks. So once we get into her, they all get into her. <laughs>